This was another subject of MK Ultra. It's called Harm OCD. What is the Harm OCD? Um, I'm just going to go and Google this again. Under Obsession to Cause Ongoing Harm Injury Vandalizing to Someone. What is a harm OCD, signs, symptoms, treatments? What, a, what is an obsession with a violent skull? Harm OCD. Uh, but the way you read this, it comes out as the condition is characterized to have aggressive, intrusive thoughts of doing violence to someone, as well as responses the person uses to cope with his thoughts. What is the compulsion to hurt someone? Aggressive obsessions or unwanted thoughts of violence towards self and others can be horrifying through common manifestation of OCD. Well, I think that we are already here heading toward the brainwash I endured during MKUltra by the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, even by the British royals such as Prince Andrew and Prince Charles, now King Charles, who claimed that I was, what is coming next is, hmm, I am just going to go do this, I'm going to move to the next window. Obsession to cause ongoing harm, injury, vandalizing, and we're going to remove that to someone. Signs and symptoms of obsessive compulsive disorder is being obsessive, a trauma response. What is a harm OCD? What is a harm obsessive compulsive disorder? What is compulsion to harm someone? You know, I'm not happy with these responses because I got a beautiful, beautiful explanation. I was looking forward to All right, so I don't, I don't get any kind of. Uh, um, I got a little earlier. The harm OCD. The harm OCD is what psychiatrist Peter Kopsch analyzed to me during MK Ultra. He would sit in front of the computer and he would start to stress these issues in my face in front of the computer, claiming me the harm OCD, exactly what you read right there. And it's interesting because the Google delivers this as an answer. Okay. Psychiatrist Peter Kopsch admitted, recognized, this is a psychiatrist Kopsch, he admitted he recognized this part here. He admitted he recognized this stuff. But he wasn't, he didn't stop here. He did not stop here. 
he did psychoanalysis, psychoanalysis, psycho, psych, psychoanalysis of himself. He did this stuff. And he did some in front of me, but with the idea to misinterpret this stuff. He didn't waste time to associate me with my conditions from the childhood. And then he go, referred violence to my father and mother and school and this and that. And uh, began to extort on an issue as per for whom do I think the public would believe more likely by implicating also Prince Charles and Prince Andrew, British royals in it, is more likely to suffer from OCD. Them or myself who had a, such a hard childhood. So this case, I am going to finish something that I started, something that I presented. Partially, something partially that I represented, something something partially I presented already as an issue. I'm going to end this stuff with very, very short stuff. American psychiatrists have gone and were the first one. It was actually response from the British royals through the use of psychiatrist Peter Kapsch to engage in more abuse, to engage in more lies, to engage in more terror, to engage in more accusations, to misrepresent more the genocide they engaged against me. These people hope for nothing more than that this complaint will never get through to the police. That's, they hold themselves onto, this is the threat they hold themselves onto. And for every issue, such was also the play with the lights, they held themselves onto the issue that they would discourage me from submitting complaint to police. That was also the nature of the psychiatric throwing me behind the gates of the psychiatric hospital in 2013. They did bet absolutely everything on making me feel guilty. Somebody who depends on them, on their goodwill to be simply rescued. Imagine this, the murderers, assassins, psychopaths that delete your life, counted in this case on my developing the issue of being rescued by them, literally. They demanded from me, the police, to see them as a rescuer. Rescuers. And continue to condition this issue with the death. That's how they operated in this case. And they wasted no time and they immediately started to abuse the issue of American psychologists, psychiatrists that analyzed all this stuff, labeling me during MK Ultra is completely normal, labeling them as a psychopath, maniacs, sickos, pointing me out these issues and insisting me that I would have to go through this to literally clean myself of issues that concerned my childhood. That's the part I don't understand them. Why would you suggest me? knowing that, well, because they're royals, right? Because whenever I ask this kind of, any kind of question that clearly should have a response to either stop this or demand authorities to investigate this, it always ended with an obvious silence 
pointing in direction of, you know, basically like, you know why. You know? So it was expected for me to absolutely understand their positions, their views, they're absolutely fart. When I say fart, that means absolutely everything, including the bullshit, in return for absolutely nothing. When people become obsessed with other people, this was also Prince William and Prince Harry. This is what they built. So this, we have a trail of British crime. These are basically people who live in a total prestige, in a prestigious world. On the case which traced all the way into the childhood, which was extreme trauma, violence, in my case. So, this is basically what they relied on. This is what British royals have invested, bet on everything, and of course on misinter misinterpretation. That's what they paid for to the Google owners to put the wrong answers on a people's concern. I don't see the answer here in my concern. I don't see it. The question here is very, very obvious. Obsession to cause ongoing harm. Okay. Let's let's just remove injury and vandalizing. How about this here? I get the same answer even if I enter here obsession to cause and go in harm to someone. The answer is the same. It's called OCD. It will waste no time, basically. It will waste no time to immediately connect itself again to the childhood, to the, to the issues that practically have absolutely nothing to do with it. It's not true. I know it doesn't have nothing to do with the childhood, really. I can tell you this as an expert, hands-on, my own brain, that I have undergone all this, I can tell you it's got nothing to do with the childhood. It can have but not necessary it has it is of course anything in this world easier to develop on somebody who was subject to the long-term torture and mistreatment than to somebody who was not subjected to absolutely anything but it's more likely that somebody who was not subjected to any kind of mistreatment and had nothing to worry about with uh, armies of the lawyers, courts defending him, her, to cause injury, harm to somebody, ongoing injury, harm, basically destruction, erasure, erasure of somebody, than to somebody who comes from the poor background who doesn't even have a capacity to cause anybody any harm. And that's a fact. I, who know about the psychiatry thousand times more than any psychiatrist on this earth, will tell you this. I am not licensed psychiatrist. I don't have university degree. But I had 52 years experience, hand-on experience, on psychiatrists and on the police. I know how it works. I know how it functions. I know that what I have gone through, nobody nearly have. And I can tell you that what you see on this page is what is known as a misinformation. It's called calculated. It's called a calculated misinformation. And it comes out from the hand full of dollars or British pounds to those that redistribute false articles based on the needs of the elites, those from whom they receive the opportunities to be seen within the society as whatever. Fits their need to comply with a crime, basically. This is why. Once the victim would disappear, in this case myself, everything would possibly go back to normal, like if nothing ever happened. That too is a symptom, a real symptom. 
of OCD in my case. I don't have anything else to say. This is this the the, the internet the prachtige um, ah, almanac of mental health, whatever you want to. Whatever you want to refer to is, it became very increasingly difficult. It's, it became very, very diff difficult to, to access whether even you want to translate the meaning of certain words into the real meaning. Uh, and all the way, if you want to go and search the answer, uh, the answers, uh, this here, this is not the answer to my question. Um, you cannot place off the words in the same category, somebody who is a victim of crime with his assailants or assailant. There is such a thing like obsession to cause somebody ongoing harm to someone. And its issue is related to a pyromania, kleptomania. It's a type of mental illness that is related to addiction. Just like you would take, you would become addicted to the drugs or whatever, you would become addicted to a people like British royals are addicted. To causing somebody, to whomever, ongoing harm, injury, vandalizing one, causing one trouble. In other words, there are troublemakers, except that they are troublemakers with a lot of money, right at the top of the pyramid, of the social pyramid, who have the ability to call their victims, as was in my case, I was also called as a troublemaker. Are troublemakers. They are a special kind, and that is the issue that is related to a psychopaths known as megalomaniacs. See that? That is the real nature of the people I dealt with in my life. The people who had the ability, you really had the ability to change. You may want to go and browse my website, my blog, also times, to change even the meaning, the right to existence and the right to self-determination. You know, just to have the ability to change the real meaning of the right to existence and the right to self-determination, you got to have a lot of money to do just that. They did so. They did so. They had the ability and they have the ability to group certain issues such as genocide, extermination, domestic violence, physical changing one into physical violence, domicide, yeah, it's called domicide. How many people do you know? How many of you know what domicide is? To screw, I'm going to say, entire universe, basically to take the fucking world down to its knees. That's why also I would appeal to the world that is listening to this in English. If you are non-English native speaker, I would, if I could, 
so that I could positively influence this world. Have the A English language voided entirely for another, preferably another language. Because it's a language of misinformation, lies, manipulation, and in my case, it equals to genocide. It equals to extermination. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.